Welcome to another episode. Today we're going to find the area and perimeter of this rectangle with square root dimensions. And this one's a little different from my other video because this one has a whole number and a square root for its given dimensions. When I'm finding the area and perimeter, I always want to check to see if I can simplify something to begin with. And if I look at my length, I cannot simplify that. First, I cannot add 4 to 3 because this one's in a square root. And the second thing is I cannot divide square root of 3 by a perfect square so I can't simplify that. This is the same reason for my width. Let's label that length and width and let's move on to the area. To find the area of a rectangle it is just length times width. So let's go ahead and substitute our given dimensions and I'm going to put them in parentheses. Multiplying this is very similar. Actually it's the same exact way as multiplying two binomials. There's going to be four sets of multiplication that will happen starting with 4 times 2. That's the first set of multiplication. 4 times 2 gets me 8. So let's move on from the 4 again all the way to negative root 3. Make sure you look at the sign in the front. 4 times negative square root of 3 is just going to equal negative 4 square root of 3. Now we move on to root 3 all the way to 2. That's the third multiplication that's going to happen. And that's just going to equal a positive 2 root 3. And then the very last multiplication that's happening here is square root of 3 times negative square root of 3. That's going to equal negative, And I am multiplying the same square root. So that's just going to cancel the square root and will become a 3. At this point, it is just combined like terms. Like 8 and negative 3 I can combine because those are just both numbers that's going to equal 5. Now you want to check if your square roots have the same root, which it does. It has square root of 3. So in that case, all you have to do is add the numbers in the front. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 root 3. That is my area 5 minus 2 root 3. And if you want to put square units, go for it, just in case your teacher requires that. Moving on to perimeter. To find the perimeter of a rectangle, it's just twice the length plus twice the width. Let's substitute our dimensions in. We end up getting 2 times 4 plus square root of 3. And I'm going to add that to 2 times 2 minus square root of 3. And from here, I just have to distribute once again. 2 times 4 is 8. And 2 times square root of 3 right here is just going to be positive 2 root 3. Doing the second part, we got 2 times 2, which gets me 4. And 2 times negative square root of 3 is negative 2 root 3. And from here, combine like terms, just like the area. 8 goes with 4, so that's going to be 12. These two are the same square roots, so all I got to do is add the numbers in the front. So that's plus 2 minus 2. They end up canceling each other out because plus 2 minus 2 equals 0. The perimeter is 12. These are not too bad. Hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.